Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So today I've got a interesting, uh, interesting one to show you. It is a Cimarron. I'm not going to go through all the box and it's all the standard lawyer stuff, lock, you know. But this is what we got today. So this is a uh, well, you could call it an 1851, but you know. We got a front sight and uh, you can see that we've got a loading gate. So this is in 38 special. Um, it also shoot some 38 Colt, short and long, 38 Smith and Wesson. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, but <clears throat> this is uh, a copy of the man with no name so in the movie uh, the bad guy Tuco I believe he uh, went into a gun shop and he made a gun in the movie well in the gun shop it was an 1851 but uh, and I could and I, I could be totally wrong on this so correct me if I'm wrong and that, but in the in the movie, I mean, you can clearly see him. He's loading loading shells, and this is a copy of that gun. Now this has a seven and a half inch barrel. You can see it's got a much taller front sight. So hopefully this is gonna, you know, be accurate. And then you've got a uh, a rear sight right there on the barrel. And there is a little screw in there that you can adjust your windage on there. Um, it, it looks like it's uh, the way it is anyways. Uh, pulled over to the left just a little bit. Um, the action feels, you know, feels good and solid. Uh, like a, just like an 1851. Now, it does have the floating firing pin, so you you would want to run five rounds through here, not six. Now I don't normally do this, but you know, this trigger is a is like a hair trigger, and I won't be doing that again. But uh, yeah, uh, I do wish that it had the army grips. You know, the, the Navy's, I've got big hands, you know, but that's okay. So in order to load it, you know, this is, this is only a three click gun. It's not a four click gun, but, um, you know, you can see there's no slide there. So what they've done with the loading lever, which won't even fit the holes anyways, it doesn't even line up. You pull this little rod out, and then you can, you know, just push out your rounds. Um, I think that you could probably see. You can see that there, but I think you could probably just take your thumbnail and just pull that out, you know. But. You know, and, and, and it is a revolver, so a lot of a lot of times revolvers you can just they just fall out anyways. And I'm I'm sure if if somebody was to slick that up a little bit more, they would just fall out anyways. But yeah. So I'm gonna take this out in the morning and go shoot it. Um I did give give you guys a preview on this on uh video of my Springfield nineteen eleven. So this is the man with no name. So, uh, when I'm done shooting it, I'll upload this video, but I'll, I'll do a cleaning video on this as well. I think that'd be fun. Uh, it's, it's just an oddity, you know, it, I don't, I mean, I'm sure it's somewhat historically correct. Maybe I'm sure one of you guys will know more than, more than I, but, uh, from what I understand, this n this never existed. I could be wrong, but that's how I understand it today. 
Um, I know they had cartridge conversion cylinders and then they would make the loading gate and all that other stuff, but this, this 1851, I just, I don't know if this was historically correct. All I know is this is a movie gun. And it is in 38 special. I mean, there's not much, I mean, the forcing cone is like, doesn't drag on the cylinder, but it's just right there. Um, the action feels really good on this, um, you know. So this is a Cimarron, you know, made by Uberti. And then under, on the bottom here, let's see if we get this the right direction. Uh, I think we gotta go like this. Not sure how well you can, or even if you're gonna pick that up, but. It does have the caliber and all that stuff on the bottom of the barrel. It does have some stuff on the top. Uh, Cimarron, you know, Texas, Uber to Italy, you know, on the top. But nowhere on here does it say black powder only, you know. It doesn't say read the instructions, you know. Beretta is famous for that. You know, I've got a Beretta, you know, 92. And if you've watched that video, you know, I'm sure you'd probably see it splattered on the side to read the, to read the instructions before you shoot this gun and blah, 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 because we think you're dumb. I don't know. Lawyers, you know, any chance they can get to sue. But anyways, so this is it. And uh, it's a little too dark to shoot right now, but uh, I'm going to take this out in the morning. I'm going to bring you guys along. All right, so we're back out here in the desert. Nice day today, wind is starting to kick up. But we've got it here, I've got some uh, 38 Colts here. Uh, these are 38 long Colt. I'm only gonna run five through it. Put one in, skip a cylinder, and then fill the other four. And I'm not sure how well you can see that. You can see uh, that I'm going to be resting this on an empty cylinder. Yeah, we do have an airplane going by, but that's okay. So let's see how it does. So I think uh, this box that I've got has got a little bit of black powder in it. Now to unload it, I showed you the rod there, but you know, if you just shake it, these things just fall out, you know, or just bump it. And there's my five shells. So now I'm going to run some uh, 38 Special, the same deal. And we're resting on a empty cylinder there. So this is just, uh, what are we, this is the Grizzly, uh, cowboy loads so uh, let's see how these work in it so as you can see you know it will fire uh, 38 specials um, as far as uh, kick goes, it's about the same as a 38 Long Colt. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with that because uh, 38 Special is a lot cheaper. And again, the empties just fall out. So, unless you got a stuck case, you know, that one might be stuck. Which it looks like it is. So, 
we'll just pull our rod out we'll shove it in there and the case comes out So when you put this back in, you can see how it's angled there. You want that angle like this. Otherwise, this is just gonna fall off. But there it is. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.